And tomorrow night, there will be another lecture at the Breadnut Community Center, and all of you should try to go along and hear about our new money. And now, the jingle. changing to decimal money, as you call it. Now, decimal currency is easier to use than pound, shillings, and pence when you are trading or doing bookkeeping. So that's why we're doing it, man. <laughs> but that look hard to me, sir. No, Tom. All you need is a clear understanding of how to use this money. Now, I attended some lectures on the new currency organized by the Jamaica Information Service Public Education Unit so that I could explain it. Come, let's go around to my office. I have some samples of the new money and also some other things to show you. And Tom, don't forget your glass. Now, Tom, you know that there is no mystery about decimal currency. It is called decimal because it is based on the number 10. When you are counting, you usually start from one. So let me show you how to count our new currency, starting with a one cent coin. Oh, here is a sample of a one cent coin. What a weird favor gold, sir. It isn't gold, one cent. Now, 10 of these one cent coins is equal to this, 10 cent coin. But it favored the shilling. That's quite true. It has the same size, the same weight as a shilling. So teacher, if I spend a 10 cent piece anyway, I will get what I used to get for a shilling. That's correct, Tom. If you spend it anywhere in Jamaica, the value of the 10 cent coin will be the same as a shilling. One shilling, 10 cents. Two shillings be equal to 20 cents. Three shillings, Tom? 30 cents, sir. Four shillings? 40 cents, sir. Five shillings? 50 cents, teacher. Very good, Tom. How did you get 50 cents? Well, I multiply by 10, sir. Ah, you see how easy it is. So to change from shillings to cents, we multiply by 10. So I can recite the rest of them for your teacher. Six shillings, sixty cents, seven shillings, seventy cents, eight shillings, eighty cents, nine, nine shillings, shillings, ninety cents, ten, ten shillings, shillings one hundred cents. And now, Tom, we come to another important decimal money, one hundred cents. One hundred cents is equal to 10 shillings. And 10 shillings make one Jamaican dollar, as you have said. So it looks like this new decimal money is the same as the Uncle Sam dollar? No, Tom. Never you make that mistake. It is true that both are decimal money and deal with dollars and cents. But the American dollar is worth about eight shillings and four pence. And what is the value of the Jamaican dollar, Tom? 10 shillings, sir. <laughs> I guess it's a Jamaica dollar, sir. 
You won't be able to see a real Jamaican dollar until change over day, or sea day as we call it. You see, Tom, if it should come out now, some people might try to copy it and put a lot of bogus money into circulation. And that is what you call code of heat, teacher. That's the same thing. Although you won't see a real Jamaican dollar before sea day, you will know it the moment that you see it. Because it is a paper money, just like the 10 shilling note. The same in value, the same in size, and the same in color. What about the dollar mark? It's not going to have that. Oh, yes, Tom. Instead of the 10 shilling mark, it will have a one dollar sign, like this. But otherwise, it will be the same value as the 10 shillings. How much different kind of money will we have below the 10 shilling dollar? No, Tom, that's a very, very good question. Here are the five coins into which the Jamaican dollar is divided. The one cent, the five cent, the ten cent, the twenty cent, and the twenty-five cent coin. Now all of these new coins will have the Jamaica coat of arms on the face, together with the words Jamaica and figures 1969. The one cent coin which is about the size of a half penny, is worth a little bit more than a penny. Oh, so you do have the same value as a penny, sir? No, Tom. It's worth a little bit more. Now, the five-cent coin will have the same value, size, and weight as a sixpence. And the ten-cent coin is the same in value, size, and weight as the shilling. Yes, I know that, sir. Go to Tabo, that already. That's right, Tom. Now, the 20 cent coin will be the same in value, size, and weight as the two shilling. Then it's because they have the same value, why they carry the same weight and size? Yes, Tom. And that is why the one cent coin and the penny are not the same in size, because they are not the same in value. And now, Tom, this last coin here is a 25 cent coin, and it will have the same value, Weight and size as a two and six piece. Then what will happen about the five shilling paper, sir? There will be a paper money which will have the same value, size, shape, and color as the five shilling note. And it will be marked 50 cents. 50 cents? So that is half of the Jamaican dollar? Right. Just as five shillings is half of ten shillings. All right, teacher. Now they like it, tell me about the money above the dollar. First of all, there is the two dollar note, which is equal in value to the one pound note. And both notes have the same green color, shape, and size. Oh, boy. Finally, there is the ten dollar note, which is equal to the five pound note in value. And both notes will have the same blue color, shape, and size. And now, Tom, we come to a very important point. What is that, sir? It is the rule, Tom, that if you want to change pounds into Jamaican dollars, you must multiply by two, because it takes two Jamaican dollars to make one pound. For example, if you want to change two pounds into Jamaican dollars, you must multiply the two pounds by two, and the answer is four dollars. So that means that four pounds would be eight dollars. Right, Tom. And six pounds will be equal to twelve dollars. Nice. So, teacher, yes or no, that the change from shillings to cents will multiply by ten. Yes. And the change from pounds to dollars will multiply by two. That's correct. Lovely, teacher, lovely. But there's one thing. You don't tell me how we're going to change the pennies to cents. Well, Tom, here we have a little problem. Because it takes 12 pennies to make 10 cents. And we have to learn from now that we have to change our copper money, that is, our half pennies, pennies, and thruppennies into decimal money. How are we going to do that, teacher? 
Well, remember, Tom, that 10 cents are equal to one shilling. And so five cents are exactly equal to a So what you do is this. Collect up your copper money until you have six and You will get five cents for that. In the same way, if you save up a shilling's worth, you will get 10 cents in exchange. No teacher. All the shopkeepers then were managed to change from pound, shilling and pence price to decimal money price. That's easy. Remember, as I said before, that to change pounds to dollars, you multiply by two. And to change shillings to cents, you multiply by ten. I understand that, teacher. But what about those prices in the pennies? Okay, Tom. I have a conversion table here to show you.